This video goes over how to unregister your device and for new user registration and how to join Discord. This is specific if you bought your device from Amazon or some of the third party vendors that are out there. If you find this useful, please leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's go. The first thing we're covering today is new users. So this is really important because you're gonna to wanna to register your Zen device. Hopefully you didn't buy it third party, but if you did, that's okay. I will show you what you can do. It just might cost you a little bit extra. In the original video for how to, I was talking to you guys about how to get to the Kronos Zen download page. This one takes you to Kronos Zen guide. Type that into Google. From there, you'll see quick start guide. This is gonna take you directly to this page right here. On this page, you're gonna see a bunch of the original steps from the first how to video. I'm gonna take you through them again because this is slightly different and I wanna be consistent with the help I give. Go ahead and click on the first one, install Zen Studio. From there, you're gonna be taken to this page. I want you to download Zen Studio. After you hit that, you should see in the upper right hand corner that Zen Studio can then be found within a folder or you can open it directly. Now, what I'm gonna have you guys do is I'm gonna show you two different ways. That's one way where you can find it from up there or if you don't know where it downloaded to, go to your search bar and click or type in downloads and that way you have a secondary way of finding wherever it decided to download to from there. You can double click on that and it'll open up the same exact option. Hit next and then click install. That's gonna put an icon on your desktop. Double click the icon so that we can open up Zen Studios. This is the loading screen that should immediately pop up. After it's loaded, this is what you'll see. This is where you're gonna be doing a lot of your work. Before you get into new user registration, you still need to make sure that you have the most updated version of firmware. So just for consistency's sake, let's go through that right now. Go to tools and then click on it. After that, you're gonna see this little screen pop up. We wanna to go to firmware update. Now there's a way that you have to do that. You'll probably get this little message right there saying you need to use the update tool. Click okay. Now you might get this message saying an update is available update that right now. Now here's where it gets fun. Go ahead and update it and you're going to see this thing right there that says yes you want to open up this tool. From there you should see a screen that says please select your device. This is where the fun part begins of we now need to plug in the Chronos Zen. So take the top cable that's the smaller 12 inch USB cable put it into the top of the Zen and then plug that into your computer's USB port. Flip your Zen over and hold the little blue button for about three seconds. From there, you should see this pop up on your computer screen. Go ahead and select that. After you hit that, you'll see this screen asking you to continue. Hit continue. From there, begin update. That's all you have to do. It should update to the latest firmware, which is what you're gonna need to move on to the next step. Go ahead and hit uh, that it's complete. Hit the X in the top right hand corner. Now, if you bought your Kronos through a third party like Amazon or something like that, you might need to unregister the Zen. I'm gonna show you how to go about doing that right now. There are two ways to do this. Both methods result in a $10 fee. First method, go to Google, type in Kronos support. It'll bring you to this page. Go to the upper right hand corner, also put in Kronos support. Click on it and you'll go to this page right here. From this page, go to the bottom right where you see the little hand waving, little button that says support, click on that, scroll through the options until you see the option that says unregister my device. From there, make sure you click the link and that will bring you to the next page where you then have to put in your Kronos and serial number. So clicking on the link will then bring you to this page and once you put your Zen number they'll give you about 24 hours and they will unregister your device. This right here is the next option in the easier one. It'll send you to the same exact page. We're working off of this page anyway. So if that's what you're needing to do, then you might as well just do this one. This is where you find your serial number so that you can unregister your device and officially make your own account. Now let's go through how to make and register a new user in an account. With Zen Studio, the app being open, you need to plug in the longer USB cable to the right side of the Zen, and then plug that cable into your computer. The normal USB ports should be okay. From there, you'll see this, register now. I had to create the button because I already registered, so I don't have that button. 
Click on that and it'll bring you to this page so that you can register. Fill in the information however you choose. And then you should get that right there so that you can log in. This will give you access to the forms and to Discord. To register in Discord, you can click on this link right here that's from the actual guide itself. But if you go to the forums instead, there are multiple links that you can also press so that you can figure out how to get onto the Discord. There are literally options everywhere for you to join the Discord server. Now, if you have this pop up, it's because you're trying to do it from your browser. You should download the app so that you can put that on your desktop. You'll be put into the welcome section of Chronosense Support Discord. Make sure you go down to Chronos Registration. When you get there, click on the register button. You have to use the serial number by copying and pasting it into the next thing. After it's confirmed that you did officially buy your Kronos, you can now access the full Discord servers. Here's what There's tons of things in Discord, such as support, hardware malfunctions, anything that you might have questions on, it's in there. So it's a good thing to get registered to if you're able to. Left-hand side, just to give you a bit of a peek, here's what is in there. All the game packs that you can see, Call of Duty especially, all the fun. So lots of people talking, lots of people in there. And that really is the long and the short of it for this video, guys. I'm going to go over controller setup in the next video. That way I can get you guys up to date on all that. And I do plan on covering game packs, specifically Warzone, Call of Duty, and some of the others. If you found this useful, make sure to leave a like and a sub. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember to keep it zen out there.